So, Jal. So? We haven't had a chance to talk alone. You comfortable in here? I took it. It feels strange to stay with the others. They are... you are... aliens. And you're alien to us. So there, we have something in common. Uh, we can look at it as a place to start. Got it. Perhaps then, if we're all aliens, it's about what kind of alien we are. You had no idea about us, but you signed up to help us anyway. Perhaps it had nothing to do with you. Care to elaborate? I do not. How do you know Moshe Sefa? She's our greatest mind on the Remnant. I was his student. You studied the Remnant too? <laughs> A little. I was terrible. I quit. Or she threw me out. One of those. We're still very close. So, is that your rifle? It is now. It's Ket. With my own modifications. I like to tinker, to get my hands on something and take it apart. That's a skill I know we can use. But I have one request. Please don't take apart my ship. <laughs> You're right. I signed up. Uh, volunteered for this. It's... Uh, Exciting. There's something unique about you. Uneasy, raw, but somehow profound. Face value, that sounds like a compliment. A nice one. It is. Angara feel deeply. We have <laughs> more trouble hiding our emotions than showing them. I should get back to my work. As if I didn't have enough on my plate, add deciphering alien psychology. What plate? Exactly. See you later. Uh, don't give the Pathfinder too much trouble. Oh, Rushan. Who are you talking to? Kesh, Nexus Superintendent, thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. Well, welcome to the Tempest. Trouble's what we do. Ha! Ah, I like the way you think, kid. Hmm. Someone somewhere shivered when I said that. Probably Tam. Damn politicians. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Leaving the Nexus can't have been an easy choice. It was, actually. Staying became impossible. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules, or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. Not all Krogan left. Your granddaughter stayed. Good thing she did. Without my Rushan, you wouldn't have had much of a station to tie your ship to. As for me, I'm way more useful out here. Lots to shoot at, for one. Your people come first. Keeping Cash and our colony safe will always be my top priority. That's why I'm happy to tag along, help make this galaxy a little more hospitable. Can't argue with that. You're not Harry. The blue give it away? Habitat 7 was a little more action-packed than Harry bargained for. He decided to spend his retirement years on the Hyperion looking after your sister. You know Sarah's the good one. I think you're both trouble. Hold still. Ow! Sorry. I remember you having a gentler touch. Still trying to get my bearings. Thought I'd be waking up colonists, not taking care of the Pathfinder. I couldn't be in better hands. I just stabbed you. We all have off days. I always hoped to work in the field, but everything's happening so quickly. Focus on the positive. It helps. 
I guess this is my opportunity to study alien species firsthand. Getting a cat specimen aboard the Hyperion would be difficult, but here... Uh, what? A cat corpse. For autopsy, a, a live subject would be better, but I'm not greedy. Why do you care about the cat? Harry didn't tell you. I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. My thesis on Krogan virility and aggression is what got me in the initiative. I had no idea. I'd love to hear more. Over dinner, maybe? Oh. Um... Thing is, Ryder, you're not my type. What's your type? Not a patient. I need to be able to look at you clinically, without distractions. Am I distracting? Not nearly as much as you think you are. But we were discussing the cat. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, average lifespan... Right. Just something to think about. Sam, make sure the Pathfinder eats his vegetables. You again. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? You really won't tell me what you're working on. That's right. Next question. You mentioned you came to Andromeda with someone? Nothing gets by you. Guess that's why you're the Pathfinder. Just a friend. Now she's not even that. It's better to venture into the unknown without restraints or entanglements, don't you think? I don't know. Don't friends and loved ones make all the effort worthwhile? I've always been self-motivated. Don't need much more than curiosity to drive me forward. What drew you to the Remnant? Are you kidding? It's evidence of a sophisticated species no one knows anything about. It doesn't get more intriguing than that. There's so much to discover. I want to be the first to figure them out. And the tech? It's on a different scale. If we can appropriate it, who knows what advances we'll make. You're off the hook, PB. Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. Pathfinder, making the rounds. Slumming it, huh? Want to see how the riffraff are making out? Hey, it's a dirty job. Are you the riffraff spokesman? King, actually. You might want to bow. Otherwise, no telling what might fall off the Nomad when you're out there. I'll take my chances. Just want to see how things are going with the ship. That little stunt into the skirts tested a few of my improvements. Happy to say, they held up. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Stuck on the Nexus, gotta say, I was regretting joining the Initiative. Seems like life back there was pretty bleak. Not gonna lie, it sucked. I tend to live the way I work. Kind of feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties. No real sense of purpose. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and... Oops, I just made a decision there's no turning back from. I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. We're exploring this cluster, eventually the galaxy. If your purpose is here, we'll find it. Then the question will be, what will I do with it? <laughs> In the meantime, you just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go, and I'll make sure she can get there. Deal? Deal. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water, or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. It'd be good to bring something beautiful across galaxies. Everyone in the initiative has their something beautiful. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said, I should go. Why? 
The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. It sounds like she cared more about what you needed than about what you wanted. I didn't need to be rejected. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. It sucks, but it happened. We need your mind on the mission. Always is. But I'm human, too. Need time to find a way through. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses, too. Oh, hey, Pathfinder. The Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. Let me guess. Little sister? Who are you calling little? Look, kiddo. Gotta go. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation? I would have done the same just to get off the Nexus. That's not why I came. Sure, I want to explore the galaxy, but I'm really here to work. I know everyone on the crew, even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. Ability to haggle with the locals? Great. But please tell me you're also good in a fight. Like I said before, Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. I do what I have to. We all have a personal stake in this. If it keeps going the way it's been, we're all dead. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later. Pathfinder, help me with something? I know, not exactly standard. Gotta make the space comfortable. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked Omniblade. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? Right, right. What? Never mind. BS for the requisition. So, finally time for that beer? And after two years and a dozen suspensions, I took a lateral promotion out of the force. Being a cop just didn't fit. But crisis response? Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few peace actions. Think about your alliance days much? Tell me about your group. Heavy urban search terrain one? Yeah. Earth's contribution to a multi-species disaster response unit. HUST-1, but Hustle looks much better on a patch. <laughs> All civilians, retired vets, poor shits like me. I was fiercely bearded. Tastes better just thinking about those days. I wanted adventure and mystery at the edge of known space. There was so much to see. Seems like a long time ago. 600 years, give or take. So, Pathfinder. Why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt. I hoped my Alliance career would lead to adventure. Exploring, hunting dangers in the dark. Didn't happen. Couldn't. But here, everything's new. And I want to see it all. Ah, oh, I don't hear idealist a lot. Everyone's cynical. Back at you, Costa. Why'd you come? I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself. That'd be a great story. 
but it's bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job, nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning. Still do. I have to. We're in it. If it all goes wrong, it could feel like we left for no reason. I know why I'm here. A bad start can't change that. I won't let it. In crisis response, I'd focus on essentials. That's you and this team. Pathfinder leads to planets, leads to people. You've got your part covered. You've got this. I'll do my damnedest to help with the rest. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector? That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? You mentioned something about helping design the Tempest? Test pilot, mostly. Plunging through the Nemean Abyss was almost a preparation for the Scourge. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I get it. Like leaving a good story half-finished. The team liked that one of us was going. It felt right, after all we went through. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Salarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Salarian arc missing, you might not get many chances to compare. Did you hear anything about the Ark back in the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Salarians. Don't sweat it. We'll bring the Salarians home. Of course we will. I just have to be patient, that's all. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time.